Pro Digital Gear here, and we're back with the Epson SureLab D1070. So far, we've unboxed the printer, loaded in our inks and media, did a test print, made sure the nozzles were nice and clean, and today we're going to actually make a print. We're not gonna cover networking in this video, but we're just gonna show you how to simply make a print via USB. So the first thing we gotta do is plug in our USB. So if you flip around to the back side of the printer, you have the power cable here on this side, and on the opposite side, right here, is where the USB goes. So in order to connect the D1070 to your computer via USB, this is the type of USB cable that you will need. We're gonna take this end right here, and we're gonna plug it into the back of the printer right here. Okay, then we're gonna take the other end of the USB and plug it into our computer. And then we're gonna go to epson.com slash USA, if you're in the USA. So then we go over to search, type in the D1070. Then we're gonna go to the SureLab D1070 mini lab printer. Come down to support. Then we're gonna be in the downloads tab right here. In this case, I'm on a Mac. If this wasn't the correct operating system, you would pick something different. So let's go to drivers, print driver. Let's go ahead and download that. Once you have it downloaded, depending on whether you're on Mac or PC, you'll run through the normal software installation process to install the driver. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. I have a random image here in Photoshop. And what we're gonna do is just double check the color settings of the image. Come here to convert to profile, even though I'm not going to do that. My source space is sRGB. So I'm gonna go back here, go to color settings again, and just make sure I am in sRGB. Now that's not the biggest gamut to print in, However, this image was already saved in sRGB. So after you've checked the color settings, the next thing you need to do is make sure your image is the right size. So let's go on the image tab, go down to image size, make sure resample's unchecked, and I'm gonna make sure that the height is eight inches. Let's go ahead and click okay. Now we can go to file and print. Make sure that we have the proper printer selected. Click this drop down here. If you see the Epson SureLab D10,000 series printer, that's the one we're gonna wanna use. I've loaded this driver in a few times for demonstrational purposes. So I'm gonna pick on the very last one that we installed right here. Then I'm gonna go to print settings. I'm gonna switch this around under custom paper size here. Let's make the width eight and the height 12. Hit okay. Then we're gonna feed from the main roll, paper type, SureLab Photo Paper Gloss 250. And then we wanna make sure that the quality is on best. Let's go ahead and hit save. Cool. As you can see, this is the wrong orientation. So on layout, we're gonna flip that. And then under color handling, we can either choose printer manages colors or Photoshop manages colors. If we do Photoshop manages colors, we have to make sure that we have the right color profile. So then let's go under here and Scroll down till we find the Epson SureLab D10,000 profiles. This is the photo paper gloss. So again, we have the photo paper gloss, so we're gonna choose that color profile, and then we're ready to go. Now on the printer itself, we can go ahead and flip out this tray here to catch our image, and then back to our computer. All you have to do is hit print. As you can see, our print is coming out. Colors look really, really good so far. And there you go. 
We just made our first print on the Surelab D1070. Detail and color are looking great. And it's a beautifully glossy print. All right, thank you so much for watching.